Uh, what's going on, Tarantula family? Sorry, I'm not speaking too loud. My girlfriend's asleep in the other room. We've been in quarantine now for about three weeks. And I gotta admit, I've been getting pretty stir crazy in my head. So, I decided to order $500 worth of isopods from Isopod Source. Uh, if you want to check out Isopod Source, you can find them on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, they tend to do the White Plains Reptile Expo, but due to COVID-19, um, there seems to be no expos in sight. Um, to everybody out there worrying and hurting and suffering, I'm, I'm truly sorry. It's, it's been hitting us all hard and we'll get through this together. But without halting it any further, let's start opening this box. So I met Isopod Source at White Plains and they had this amazing table filled with dozens, maybe a hundred different species of isopods that were all different sizes, shapes, colors. And I also run an arachnid table in New England and do a lot of the New England reptile shows. And I pride myself in thinking that I have the best invertebrate tape. But isopod, uh, isopod source proved to me that I have a long way to go. And there's a lot more invertebrates I need before I can call myself a top the top tier table at all the expos so shout out to isopod source because you guys really impressed me and you guys made me get into a whole new invertebrate hobby i never thought i'd get into i'll make sure to add their links to the description and the owner from isopod source would stop by my table sometimes and he'd be like hey you remember me I always felt bad. I was like, shit, I should really know this guy because he has some amazing shit. Oh my God. Is this his business card? Oh, his business card's beautiful. All right, so, isopod source. Isopods and other quality invertebrates. Um, you can follow them on Facebook and Instagram or check out their website. But yeah. I love this card. This card is beautiful. Oh. Let's see what else we have in this box. Because I did not tell anybody what I had yet. Oh, there's one. Another one. There's three. All right. Well, I guess I'll move the camera around so I can show all you guys. All right. So I guess we're gonna open up the first one. It's, <clears throat> it's really, it's a larger one. So, first thing I got was a hundred maculatum. So maculatum are beautiful. They have these cool zebra stripes and I just find them awesome. I think they are beautiful. They are one of the first isopods I was ever able to obtain. And I decided I'd definitely grab a bunch more so I could start a large colony. The next one I got were, <laughs> I do not know how to say this. I'll try to say it the best I can. P. Prionensis. The powder orange is what I know them by. And they're another isopod that I already own, but I wanted to start a larger colony. They call them the powder oranges because they are super orange. You can see a few in there. Kind of hard to see, but hold on. There's a bunch. I see a bunch right there. Look at them all running around. All right. The last ones I got in this order. will be the ones you are most anticipated to see. The rubber duckies. And I don't know their Latin name, 
because I'm very new to the hobby. I just started collecting isopods. I haven't been doing a ton of research on how to pronounce all the Latin names. But rubber duckies caught my heart and they're the reason I decided to join the isopod hobby. And I think this is gonna be the end of the video. I am gonna make a video when I rehouse them all too. But I just wanted to show you what I got from isopod source. Stay tuned, I'll make an awesome video when I rehouse them all. See you later guys.